It's hard to believe that 2,000 years ago, when other parts of France were already making wine under Roman rule, the Bordeaux region was better known for its corn. But luckily for Bordeaux, it's located close to the Atlantic Ocean and connected by two major rivers, the Dordogne and the Garonne. So it became a natural trade center in ancient times. Now, wine has always been made in this region to some degree, but it really came into its own in the Middle Ages, when the western part of France became a part of the Kingdom of England in 1152. Suddenly, there was a huge demand in England for this wine called Claret from Bordeaux. This is really interesting. In the 1700s, Dutch engineers actually drained the swampland in the northern part of Bordeaux, which is now the Medoc, and that's the region where probably the highest ranking and most expensive wines come from still to this day. And of course, in 1855, the wines of Bordeaux were given their notorious Cru classification. But this um, controversial ranking was based on sales figures alone, and it only included about 60 wineries. And to this day, those 60 wineries still get most of the attention, which is a real shame because Bordeaux has about 6,500 different wineries, and a lot of them make some pretty amazing wine. The great news is that we have four of those wines here today, and I think they really deserve some attention. Earlier, I mentioned that Bordeaux is situated around two major rivers. Entre deux mer technically translates to mean between two seas, but in this case, more like two bodies of water. The Entre deux mer is the appellation that's situated between the Dordogne and the Garonne rivers, and it's best known for these perfumed floral white wines. Chateau Landerot is made from a blend of four different varieties, including Sauvignon Blanc and Sémillon. It's a silky, well-balanced white that, to me, inspires thoughts of warmer weather and sunny skies with all that citrus and tropical fruit in there. If you close your eyes and drink this, you might even be fooled into thinking it's a rosé. I also like that they strive to be good stewards to the environment, as you can see here. We have another white here from the region of Saint-Foy, which is very close, actually next to the Entre du Mai. And uh, Saint-Foy was actually a martyr from the third century. And take note of the Côte de Bordeaux label here. We've discussed uh, what Colt means in previous tastings. And this is another Sauvignon Blanc dominant wine that shows a slightly different approach. It's a thick and heady wine full of pungent wildflowers and citrus and a touch of herbaceousness. To me, it tastes like the first day of spring. Bordeaux Superior is a designation that indicates a wine that has been held to higher production standards. In this case, they deliver a higher alcohol content, and they have to spend at least 12 months aging. This one is a Merlot-dominant blend that comes from a small town called Gensoc, which resides on the cliffs above the Dordogne River. Chateau Les Bedas is a complex wine that I think delivers well above and beyond its price point. I would describe it as a chocolate-covered blueberry scone, dunked in a cup of tea, and sweetened with a dollop of whipped cream. And lastly, we have a four-year-old Bordeaux Superior from the right bank of the Garonne, a chateau that, by the way, is also an Airbnb that you can rent, so I think I know where I'm going on my next vacation. This wine is a Cabernet dominant blend with some Merlot and Cab Franc as well. This is a real high quality Bordeaux Superior that drinks so well for being relatively young. And the soft tannins in here and those toasty chocolate notes are really warm and inviting. And there's your brief primer for our upcoming tasting of Bordeaux wines. If you haven't reserved your wines yet, be sure to go to WTSO where you can purchase them and also get the date and the details for the upcoming virtual event. But wait, because there's still more. In the next video, I'm gonna give you some of my own easy to make food pairings that you can prepare for the tasting. So after you order your wines, be sure to grab those recipes so that you have something to nibble on while we taste.